going to show you how to make an alloy wheel real quick like a wheel for a car so let's get a cylinder with 18 sides in one segment I'm going to get right into this and let's draw it out like this select that polygon go to your polygon tab spiky and that'll give us our geometry let's go ahead and run around through here like this let's um, make a couple loop slices I'm going to put one closer to the edge like that and of course I'm going to put one towards the middle like so now I want to rotate this around just to make it even like so and then I'm going to go around here like so now we have these that we can delete or if you would like you can delete and get this look or you can take these like this skip one grab two skip one grab two it just depends on the look you're looking for I'm not really trying to design a specific wheel but we'll stick with this design for now okay so now we've got that let's go ahead and go to our basic tab and let's run the smooth shift or the thicken whichever and let's give it a little thickness like so now I'm going to select this loop around the back edge by selecting two in the direction I want to select and hitting the L key then I'm going to delete them and that deletes that little ring but leaves the back okay then I'm going to select these loop these and delete these okay now you see what we got the back of our five stars but the edges are gone because we need to make the loop of our wheel rim so let's grab our edges double click that outer edge like that let's hit the Z key to edge extend click to activate the tool I'm going to bring it out this way a little bit like this then I'm going to shift click to reactivate the tool hit the R key to bring up my scale I'm going to scale it out like this spacebar drop the tool Z key to pull back up my edge extend click to activate I'm going to pull it back forward like this again shift click to reactivate it R for scale let's scale it up spacebar drop the tool hit the Z key one more time to reactivate it one more time click and bring it back like so now as you can see we have our lip for our, our, for our um, wheel so now let's go in here and run a few loop slices I'm going to say mode symmetry count of two like that so let me go around here and go ahead and slice up the rest of the insides of these real fast okay and that helps hold our shape a little bit but not a lot so now we're going to run some right around these we select them here now let's run our loop slices you can see that puts our loop slices on there I'm going to put them kind of close to the edge here and that will help hold our wheel design there now we got a nice alloy wheel all we have to do is we can do this now or later we can take this and these duplicate bridge now we have our back filled in again so let's go back to our basic make sure everything center selected all everything looks centered to me let's go to our model quad view because we're gonna lay in a a square now so well actually let's go back here let's bring up our model tools and let's grab a square and I'm gonna put a square in uh, like this and actually now I want to do it more like that right there let me draw this out and I'll show you over here in the model view you can see what I'm doing here I have this little 
piece of strip laid out there and I got one segment in the Y or actually two segments in the Y okay so I'm going to make that a little not quite as tall okay spacebar drop the tool I'm going to select this I'm going to say center selected actually before I do that let's go ahead and tweak it let's go to our vert mode grab this vert Go to your vert mode, grab the corner verts, okay? Hit the R key for scale, then scale them in, like that right there. Now grab the middle verts, hit the R key, and scale them out, okay? Now I'm going to select that piece, center selected, all, hit the W key. Now let's bring this straight down like this, and line it up here. And that's looking pretty good. If I go back to my model view, you'll see how I got it lined up. Okay, let's move it down just a little bit more. Go back to my vert mode, grab these inner ones and scale them in just a tad. I think I pulled them out a little too far. Like that. Okay. There we go. Once again, I'm going to make sure center selected all. And it was. So we're good to go. Now that I have this, I'm going to select it. Go to my duplicate. I'm going to run the radial sweep. Like that right there. Click right in the middle. And it gives me this radial sweep all the way around my tire okay so spacebar to drop that tool tab key to subdivide it and as you can see now all we got to do is kind of just place in our tire I select this we'll take it back a little bit Okay, and there we go. There is our alloy wheel. So now all we have to do is I'm going to hide this, select that, mirror. Let's go ahead and mirror this in the X. Okay, now that we got that, let's go ahead and connect these two. So again, I got ahead of myself. Let's select this loop and delete it. Select this loop and delete it, okay? So let's grab our edges now. Let's grab this inner edge. Hit the Z key to edge extend. Like that. And drop spacebar, drop the tool. Now I'm going to select this edge. Shift select this edge. Duplicate bridge. Bridge those together. Now you see we have an inner, an inner wheel for our alloy rim there. As you can see on both sides, everything, the geometry flows really nicely. Great job. Let's unhide. Okay, look at there. Now we have our wheel and a, well, we have to adjust a little bit. And a really good tire to place some texture on or, or whatever. It's really up to you. And you can tweak your wheel and all that good stuff. I mean however you want to do however deep you want you can do any design wheel design you like okay it's really up to you so now in our next video if you want to I can go in we can go in and build our brake caliper and our disc brakes just to complete the inner wheel so it won't be so empty but that's up to you guys whether you want that or not so that's how we built us a wheel in Modo um, like I said if we had our disc brakes and our calipers and everything in there this would be filled up and it wouldn't be so bare and if you all want to go on in and, and do that, I can make a video on that, no problem, in between these uh, Star Wars speeder videos. So, thanks for watching. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and um, 
give this a material. I'm going to call it black. That'll be fine. Like that right there. Now, as you can see, where we're getting at. And also, in our next... Um, somebody wanted me to do a tutorial completely for beginners. So... Um, we're going to make this little Kensington joystick that everybody used back in the day with a good little wire here and the buttons. Really simple. Made completely for my Moto noobs. I'm going to go do that too. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following along while we make our little tire here. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.